Vasco da Gama 10 is out and it brings us a brand new feature, the so-called Easy Assist Mode. All those great features of Vasco da Gama for creating stunning animations mean many parameters that can be adjusted and therefore the user interface is sometimes a little bit complex. So Motion Studios has listened to its customers and therefore they have created a new work mode, the so-called Easy Assist mode. The aim was to reduce the complexity and this is a great benefit not only for beginners in Vasco da Gama but as well for the old hands because when we create a new project we always have to do the groundwork some routine tasks as defining the routes and so on and this routine task we can do much faster in the easy assist mode so everyone has advantage from this new work mode so now let's take our first steps you see the new mode selection window this window comes up every time you start Vasco da Gama or you create a new project here we can select between the two work modes, the new easy assist mode on the left or the expert mode with all the parameters on the right. By now I select the left one, the easy assist mode and accept with OK. And Vasco da Gama now takes us directly to the project settings. Here we set the map mode. We can choose between the simple map mode and the advanced map mode and we set the video preferences. In the video template we can choose between all the common video formats that are used on the market by now. You simply select one like HDTV 1080 with 25 pictures per second and all the parameters are filled in from this template. If you like you can adjust these parameters to your needs. I will leave them by the standard format and will accept with OK. Our work window gets of course the biggest part of the screen and above it we find the main navigation bar with four buttons. The most left one project takes us to the project settings we have seen already. The second one maps brings up the map selection window. The third one shows us that we are in easy assist mode and the fourth button export takes us to the export section. When we are working in easy assist mode at every moment in the project we can switch to the expert mode with this button here in the upper right corner and then we switch to the expert mode and have all the parameters available. Below the work window on the left side we find the group of parameters for the navigation and view. Here we control what we are seeing in the work window and on the right side we find the camera settings for the preview and the video output. So before we have a look at the parameters let's create a very simple traveling route with only two points, a starting point and an end point. I click here on the map and set automatically the starting point and now I will create a second point a little bit more on the right and now we have a route between those two points. The end point is at this moment the active one, you can spot it by the green color and the starting point of the route is always visible because of the arrow symbol on top. So now I will zoom in a bit so that we can see a little bit more details and I select the starting point of the route and now let's have a look at the parameters on the right. Beginning at the top we have the travel section and you see we have a selection menu for the section called stages and that means that one route in Vasco da Gama can be composed of several sections of several stages. In this example we will work with only one stage, an example with two stages I will show you in the next lesson. Below it 
we find the wheel for adjusting the section time. This is the duration the animation takes for the route from the starting to the ending point of this section. So by default it is set to 10 seconds. We can adjust it with this wheel. I will leave it at 10 seconds for this example. Then we find an option for acceleration and deceleration. That means when we have an object that travels on our route, the object will slowly accelerate and smoothly slow down at the end of the section. Since I would like to move a car on this little route, I activate this option right now. And the next section is the route line for the stage. Here can we adjust how the route line will look like we can select between different line shapes and colors and in this example I don't want any route line to be visible. I would like to see only the car. So I simply deactivate the route line for this stage. And now it's time to select the transportation, our object that moves on the route. I activate it. Press the Select Object button and now it opens the Object Selection window. Here we have to select first the main category. We can choose between Vasco da Gama. This category contains all the objects that are installed together with the program. And then we have the Favorites and the Last Used category. These are empty at this moment, so I select Vasco da Gama and now the cars and on the bottom we find the selection of cars available and I will choose here the third one this limousine and if you like you can adjust the color of the car I will use the standard white at this moment and accept with OK and now the car is placed here although it is not visible because the symbol of the starting point of the route is displayed on top so I can make those symbols here a little bit smaller with this wheel here and now it's time to have a look at the real-time preview I press this button here which opens the real-time preview and we can play it back and now our car smoothly accelerates and smoothly slows down at the end point this is quite nice for the moment but now let's have a look at the camera settings. The camera control is set to automatic and the camera profile by default is side glance 30 degrees but now let's switch to side glance 70 degrees. And let's again let's have a look back to the real-time preview and now we can see our car a little bit more from the side but that's not very different but we can use the zoom correction to zoom in a little bit more and when you see I'm moving the slider of the zoom correction and we don't see anything in the preview window this is because we are now in editor view but we can switch to camera view so the preview window our work window shows the scene more or less as we would see it later on in real-time preview. And if I now use the zoom correction, then you can see the result directly in the preview window. And so I, I set the zoom correction to 120%. And now again, let's have a look at the real-time preview. And this looks a little bit different now. You see the basic task of creating a project is very easy and very fast with the new easy assist mode and sometimes this is all what we need. And if your project is a little bit more complex there is no problem in doing the groundwork as creating the routes, placing the objects and so on, doing the, all the groundwork in easy assist mode because it is much faster to work in this mode and then you switch to expert mode 
I can do it at this moment. I click Expert Mode. Vasco da Gama now informs me that this is a one way. So once we are in Expert Mode, we can't go back to the Easy Assist Mode. I accept with OK. And now we have all the parameters available to fine tune our project to the last detail. <laughs>